Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So again, I'm back with another project and uh, this is uh, quite uh, easy. It is, uh, you know, a weekend kind of a project and it involves uh, creativity also, like you can expand it more and more. It is bookstore application with a database. Okay, so if you are like preparing for any kind of interview, then databases and all like they might ask questions on that. So it will help you prepare for that also, right? So this is a quite simple project and I, I'll also tell you what other ideas you can do with the same uh, thought process and how to expand also I'll be telling you. So basically what is the project and how long does it take to implement? So project is uh, there will be uh, you know a database which will have the records of uh, different books and uh, book will have title, book will have author name, book will have uh, year number and all those things. So each book will have some number of attributes and uh, we'll be storing it in database, adding new books in database, removing and you know searching, all those things are possible. And it is not going to take you much time actually. See, it depends on your creativity. You want to make it more and more interesting. You want to add more functionality to it. Then the number of days will also increase. But if you just want to, you know, dump it in your resume, although I don't recommend that, I recommend only to, you know, read uh, the documentation about the different concepts being used to make the project and then add your own thought to it. But still, you can actually finish it within uh, the, you know, the you can finish it over the weekend. So concepts involved is a Python Tinker library for GUI development. Des this is like desktop development only, right? And also SQL like three for database. So these two are mainly the two things that we will be working with. Now SQL like three, uh, I will put all the documentation links okay over there. And also I'll put some YouTube videos where you will get complete courses on Tinker as well as SQL like three. But I suggest you that please don't take any course initially, put your own thought process and brain first so that you will have interest because honestly, if you take the course, you will definitely not complete it. If you don't put your own uh, ideas, if you don't do the coding, otherwise it's going to become really boring. Personally, when I get bored, if I take such courses, because those courses will be like five, six hours long and you know, they will be just general things that is being told. So how to actually do these kind of projects is first get an idea in your mind, work on that idea, take a pen and paper and see, okay, what all functionality should be there. And accordingly, if you don't know how to implement it, Google that part, Google that part, learn about it, add it to your code. Again, you get stuck, Google that part, add it to your same thing again and again. If you keep repeating, you will be able to learn a lot more. But I suggest you to, I mean, instead of Googling, then you can watch that course only, like that part of the course. They will have timestamp, right? Like for example, in Tinker, so many things are there. Sorry, Kinter, what am I saying? Kinter, there are so many things. And even SQLite 3, there are a lot of things that you can do in databases. but how much you require for the project that is what is important so i when i was doing this uh, small project i also used that method only first i got an idea of, okay what i should do then i was googling and trying to find out how to implement that and python is a very very simple language anybody can learn it and more moreover uh, the things that are there in python you just have to know where to place it lot of uh, brain in coding is not required actually but yeah again if you want to make it more and more creative then you'll have to think right so that will be there and okay so the project is basically like you have to perform crud operations okay you will be adding deleting updating all those things you will be doing on book records only and searching okay and the gui how to implement the gui so in my internship also this, uh, what I told you now, the method of doing the project that also, that only helped me in my internship because actually, frankly speaking, so many new, new technologies will be coming. Okay. The newer things will be happening and 
it will be very difficult to completely get uh, get uh, depth knowledge so i'll suggest you that first get a idea in your head and then accordingly work towards that only don't just take three four courses and completely go in depth fully i don't think that is really needed and some other ideas that you can do are uh, you know uh, you can do student management system like uh, the grades of student and you can have you can implement this with firebase so what actually one of my friend in college what he did was for the entire uh, college uh, after the results of every semester used to come out he used to uh, you know make a application which would tell what is the grade of like sorry what is the rank in your class how, how do you rank among your friends in the entire college each department all those things so that also basically database only right you have to add those entries student name student cgpa student department all those things you have to add there in those entries and then write the back end script to get the rank and uh, you know all those things will be there so that also you can do student management attendance also you can add over here you know you can make an attendance tracker like a lot of us uh, you know we will be checking how much attendance do we have if we don't have shortage or if you're not interested in attending classes then uh, we'll ask our friends to keep a track of uh, our attendance so instead of all that we can just write a program and help everyone in our uh, colleges and airlines management see management systems you can do basically airlines also i just gave a different example you can do different different management systems healthcare and then you can take this idea in more forward by doing web development projects a lot of you told me in the comment section so i will be doing web development simple projects also you can start with you can implement a back end with uh, python django or flask and uh, or you can if you have learned node js that also you can do simple html css javascript don't go fully in depth i will suggest don't see everything you know like i'll become completely perfect in uh, this entire i mean it is nice but then these technologies will keep updating now and then so it is you know a constant learning process it is better you take up different projects and start doing the coding work so you can do login system transactions what is transaction basically you can uh, you know have a gateway payment gateway like if you are selling some products like some ebook or you are selling used books used games whatever you can make your own website and keep a gateway uh, payment gateway somebody can buy those things from you or like there is this website right insta mojo uh if you have bought that uh, dsa book you would have bought it from there only so that insta mojo something like that idea you can do you can try to replicate that only if you want and login system is for like user uh, uh, validity identification that also will need database right so this was about uh, the project and now i'll show you how i did the coding i'll give you direction i would see the reason why i'm not doing entire coding work is then you will just simply copy that only i will be giving you ideas and i'll be explaining what i was thinking while i was writing the code so that you put your own effort okay so see this uh, application has two parts to it it has a gui and it also has backend gui basically it is, what is what is ui it is graphical user interface so instead of getting all the output on this console like this we can have a gui to make it more attractive and you know we can add our own creativity so what do i mean by that if i run this application see this window will open right this uh, this window this is the gui see here we have different widgets so what are widgets basically these things this button these are buttons on the right side over here this add book update book all these are buttons this is a list box this big white color rectangle and uh, these are labels where it is written title author year isbn all these are labels 
and here see the cursor it is pointing to right here now that is entry box you can add an input so suppose you want to uh okay so i'll just show you see if you want to view all the books that are there see you can view the books books are like famous five author is me only uh, here isb and all these records are here suppose you want to delete this now i'll select the book i want to delete and i'll say delete book and when you say view all see that book is gone 19 id 19 is gone <coughs> okay then if i select this and if i change the author so if i up, i if i update the book see i gave the entries here and i updated the current book okay then you can also like uh, search for a book for example it should be giving me this if i say instead of pokemon i'll say famous 5 and i'll give 2000 and this was how much 56 is it and if i say search see if i say search for the book it will show me that book over there and actually in this code that i have written everything need not be like however you have thought like uh, suppose you wanted to update a book then you can give your own method of updating like what do you want to update or do you want to update all the attributes or you want to only update selected attributes so that is why i said this is like a creative project wherein you will be adding your own ideas so whatever coding i will be showing you anyway it will going to be a waste only because see all these things na they are repetitive uh, repetitive uh, it has a pattern you just need to know where to place each function that's all so that is why i am not showing the coding because then you will just stick to that only and you will not explore by yourself and if i want to suppose uh, okay what else is there okay if i say close now see if i close it is gone so first of all what you do is if you have excel it is fine or else you take a book okay you take a book and a pen and then you just decide how your gui should be you draw over there only like where the button should be placed where is the list box where is the scroll bar where are the entry boxes what what is the position so in gui programming also it is something like rows and columns only in the first row first column or for like you know there will be a in uh, uh, say label and in the first row second column or maybe second row first column which is just below the label there will be a entry box okay so it is all about rows and columns only you need to experiment with that and then figure out uh, in which position does it look good does it look uh, uh, you know presentable so you can try that out with uh, uh, this uh, excel only because excel already has that rows and columns right you can all, you can in, you, you can just start there and excel also will be helpful for you to understand how the database will be so how it will be stored in like our example like uh, there will be an id okay there will be id then there will be title then there will be author name then it will be year and it will be isbn correct so sql and all are uh, you know database management system databases management system it is about tables and all tables and all so it is rdbms actually relational database you know it is in the form of tables the information will be in rows and columns okay so see this title is an attribute of each and every other record that will be present in the table same way year so when we have to view the table basically we need to view all the rows of the table and in sqlite3 it is written as a list of tuple tuple is a data structure 
which is like immutable and you can have like multiple values in it so it is like one entity records see each record is one book right one book has many attributes so it is actually representing a single a single element only so tuples is a good way of showing it so our sql like tree over here i'll i'll show you here see if you can observe this part here it is a tuple it's a list of tuples this is one tuple this is another tuple like that so in our databases it will be stored so what you can do is uh, once you have done the front end so front end is like nothing but the gui right so you just need to know where to put the label okay there is a function called place which you know will help us place our widget widgets are these buttons labels uh, uh list box and uh, scroll bar all those things so for all this you can just directly refer the python documentation here kinter library even tutorials point is nice it is decent it has sufficient things that you will be uh, needing for doing the project okay even sql lite 3 documentation is very nice okay so getting a habit of reading the documentation is very necessary and i specifically didn't have this before my internship but then during that i realized it is very important to read so please try and reading it will help you a lot okay so gui is actually all about creativity and if you observe here i have diff written different different functions like what happens is these are buttons right when we click on a button something happens like for example this view all view all is a button so i'll just run it and show you again see this view all is a button when i click on it something happens so how that something happens for that you need to pass command equal to function okay so this is the syntax basically you have to pass a function in this form and this function should do something so for example this is view all that means it is viewing all the records in the database okay so uh there is a function over here okay but uh, our database the program that is the back end part is in another script so instead of putting both front end and back end part in the same script i have put it in two different uh, python uh, scripts and i'm importing the back end script in the gui so there is this file bookstore gui.py this is importing a another python script it is bookstore backend so you can import like this so uh, if you want to access any function that is written in this script then you can say bookstore backend dot that function dot uh, suppose view view store dot search book so this backend script is there right suppose see in the backend script there is a function called delete book you want to access it in the front end so how you will do you will say bookstore backend dot delete book or view store whatever so front end you will be able to code easily i'll just show you the backend backend you need to import this sql lite 3 this sql lite 3 it is automatically installed you don't have to worry but i think you need to install kinter just type pip install kinter t kinter however you call it okay this is already installed here, uh, in your system and if you observe i have not used object oriented programming here because many of you might not know i have used uh, functional programming only i have written functions you can make it more uh, presentable by creating a class which means that all these functions will belong to a class you can call that class application and it will look uh, more uh, readable okay so you can do that i leave that to you how to make it into class but for now i have done functional proofs i suggest you do with functions only first and then implement it with class see i'll show you one see i'll i'll talk about one function okay this is 
connect what is this it is first of all going to establish a connection with the database our says bookstore.db fine it is going to establish a connection then we need a cursor object what is cursor object used cursor object is used to execute sql commands so that's why you need to know a little bit of sql like how to create table create table table name something like that insert in a table select all the rows so basic sql commands you need to know so for that you can uh, visit w3 schools and learn about basic commands or even uh, directly in this uh, uh, documentation only you will get it i guess each and everything or you can uh, visit uh, uh, w3 schools you will get basic understanding which is more than sufficient so delete create select are uh, the difference between ddl dml and all that okay then you need to see this is a very important line commit and if you don't write this commit and you close the connection then all the data will be lost basically this commit is used for you know uh, like whatever you did in the previous uh, like uh, previous time you opened the program and whatever you have done if that has to be shown again if you want to retain all your operations that you have done on the database then you need to write this commit before close before you close connection you have to write commit so all these uh, methods commit close cursor everything is on connection okay everything is on connection and only execute is on the cursor object see if you want to view the store then you say select everything so everything means asterisk from bookstore and how, how to get all the rows you say cursor fetch all so fetch all is a method which will fetch all the rows basically the entire table and that we are returning you want to search a book then which book so all those parameters the default arguments are given you want to delete which book want to update which book accordingly all those things are there so i'll suggest you either you first do the front end or the back end see if you do the back end then it will be much easier because then you'll understand how uh, if it is implementing correctly or not and then you can just add it to the front end so that is why i see i have written some functions here i am basically inserting some books and updating and you will get to know what is happening in the console output so you will get output like this list of tuples so i suggest you to write the back end script first okay and then you can write the front end and then how to connect front end and back end that's what so wherever there are buttons you if you click on button something should happen so for that something to happen just uh, write a function and notice that when you are passing function you are not using brackets here you don't want that to be executed you are just you know when this button is clicked that function should happen that's all you don't want it to be printed on any console or anything it on the on just the gui it should happen that's why you don't uh, give this bracket so this view table is actually a function just the name command equal to function name you give and see here we are uh, using list box so list box will help us see all the records it will help us select the record delete it update so list box widget we are using heavily here i suggest you to pause the video and look into list box more okay and as i told it is just like functional programming only and maybe we can add a title right so if i say if i want to add a title to our window so title will be displayed bookstore application so there are so many functions like this you want to change the configuration you want to change it to black color blue color you want to change the widget so many things are there endless it is you just need to know according to your idea where to place the code that place it in your code that's all 
that's all about uh, this kinter library so this is a very simple project okay and i hope you really liked it i hope you'll able, be able to implement i will be doing web development projects because most of you are asking that only i'll be starting with simple ones and uh, whatever i know only i'll be sharing and i'll try to upskill myself and learn more then i can share more with you guys i hope you are really finding these videos helpful if you really are please hit the like button it will really motivate me subscribe it will even more motivate share it with all your friends as much as possible i hope it will benefit them and you and tell me in the comments how you like this project how you like my explanation and what all ideas you can add to this or you want to share with me like what you want me to do please tell in the comments i shall reply and we can interact and learn so that's all for this video until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye